You... You film on location in Nepal, and often yes. I think, you know, actors, they get movies and they think, oh, great, I get to go to that place. But like, this is unbelievable, I think, yeah. the, the way that television... I mean, I know it's a broadcast medium, but yeah. you get to Nepal and they know who you are. I mean, it, yeah, it was, um, it was unbelievable because I'm, I, was quite, I was in that stage of the, of, the, of the film, so I'm quite bearded up and all scraggly and desperate, and uh, even despite that, I was on the first day photographed and that was it. And by the end, there were thousands of people surrounding us. There was one very scary moment. These people started crowding around the car, we and we couldn't move. And it was literally like being the opposite... It, well, it was, no, it was like being in a mobile cage that wasn't going anywhere in a zoo. It was really weird. I, so I had conversations with them, and then it was like... Don't, 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 don't really know what to say now. Uh, that's a nice shirt. Um, and then I thought, no, we really... Actually, we, we're, we're kind of like half an hour late, and the car started rocking a bit with new people turning up, that pushing the new people, like... The new, I think the first people to arrive were a bit embarrassed because their faces were basically pressed against the car. <laughs> so we sort of slowly pushed the car door open, saying, sorry, sorry, we really have to go, and just made up and just ran. There were hundreds of people by the end, and it's Sherlock, it's incredible. It's just got that... And, and it is. I mean, what does your mind... Because you are like a nerd's wet dream. Because yeah. you've got... Because <laughs> you've got... Sherlock, Star Trek, and now Marvel. Ah, fangasm. I know, it's like... That's, that's your pension right there. You can just do conventions. You get properly lazy doing what I actually do and just go and sign pictures of my face. But there's, there's a, there was a shot that... I think you were on location in New York. And, uh, oh, yeah. So this is without... Uh, oh, yeah. This is without the special effects. <laughs> so this is uh, Doctor Strange. Is that the... What do you call energy robot? I'm about to take off. Oh, you're taking yeah, off? Yeah, oh, that's, that's... that's me about to fly. Oh, OK. <laughs> you're about to fly. Anyway, for some reason, the way these things do, that image just captured people's imaginations. And, uh, <laughs> so they've taken Benedict of Strange and put him in different places. So here's Benedict on a zip wire. <laughs> <laughs> He's also very sporty. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> He's oh, also man. cultured. Music is his life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and very good at the ice skating, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> that that oh, like wow. looks like it's real. That looks yeah. like a Donald Trump move. <laughs> 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 By the way, we're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we're so sorry. It's nearly over, everyone. It's nearly over. Graham Norton here. If you'd like to see even more stuff like that, then hit subscribe. <laughs> or don't. It's a free world. But I know what I'd do in that situation. <laughs>